Who do I have to sleep with to get another glass of wine? That would be me. I, I mean, you don't have to sleep with me. I mean, I have wine, but you don't have to... Red or white? White. White, okay. And it was a joke. Oh. Max, may I ask you something? Sure, what do you need, Miss Simlick? Oh, please, it's Suzanne. Um, is this the entire contact sheet for Brenda Barrett? Because if I don't have the whole list, I am uh, basically screwed. That's the list Jason gave me. Okay. And are you two fellas ready to keep my girl out of harm's way? Yeah, we'll uh, do our best. We understand that Miss Barrett can be a tough one to wrangle. Oh, Max. I have a feeling you are a, a man with a gentle touch when it comes to handling difficult women. Uh, I do have a knack for handling difficult women. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear that. Ubble tray. Ubble tray? Seriously, mm -hmm. Milo? Pig Latin? Really? Yeah. Um, uh, Diane Miller, Suzanne Stanwyck. Uh, Suzanne runs Brenda Barrett's charity. ASEC. Yes. Uh -huh. You've heard about us, the work we do? Well, all I know is that every time I turn around, I'm getting a solicitation for another donation. Must be very nice having someone like Brenda Barrett hitting up the rich and famous for your money. Well, you obviously don't know what work we do or how a nonprofit works. I know that I've sued charities for accepting contributions that then go into the administrator's pocket. We have a four-star rating. I take a nominal fee. 95% of our monies go into program services. Really? Mm. Mm. Well, then tell me, who pays for Brenda Barrett's security? Because it's my understanding that she's incredibly high maintenance, requires round-the-clock attention, and frankly, I don't think the burden of Brenda's security should be shouldered by my two clients. Oh, and these two lovely gentlemen are your clients? <laughs> no, I was referring to Jason Morgan and Sonny Corinthos. I don't know where you got your information, but Sonny Corinthos doesn't get anywhere near Brenda Barrett. Well, you don't have to wait out here. I don't want to see Sam or Brenda. I think Brenda's uh, sleeping and Sam said she was going to see you, so come on. Sam uh, tried to help me. It's not her fault I'm a train wreck. What happened? Sam found me this really great girl. She's nice and beautiful. I thought it was going to work out, but I blew it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't. There's nothing you can't say to me, Michael. Maybe you know, it might help to just talk it through. I was nervous, which is normal, right? I mean, it's my first time. I tried not to be too weirded out about it. Yeah, anybody would be would be nervous. She tried to get me to relax. She asked me to dance. Then we kissed. And that was okay. You know, I mean, that was actually more than okay. But then she tried taking my shirt off. And I just lost it. For a split second, I wasn't in the hotel room anymore. I was in prison with Carter. And I wanted to kill him. I grabbed her arms really hard and... She tried to pretend that she wasn't freaked out, but of course she had to be. What's up is that, that I can't even be with a girl?
can't be too hard on yourself. You know, a lot of that stuff you felt, nerves, it's, it's all normal. No, it's not. It's not normal. I'll never be normal. I know women like you. I used to be like you, except for the bad taste in shoes. You don't give a damn about justice, but you're brilliant at manipulating the law. I protect my clients' rights. Yes, as long as they'll pay top dollar for the privilege. That's what capitalism's all about. That's what capitalism is about for the top 2% who control the wealth. The top 2% who, who own the businesses, who create the jobs, who pay the politicians to write the tax reforms and the loopholes in the laws so that the jobs can go overseas where there are no laws. Free market economy. Yes. You tell that to the nine-year-olds who work their fingers to the bone, oh. literally sewing and ironing and working on machines that cut off their limbs. It's criminal. Oh, but you don't care about the people who are making your cheap goods. Not as long as your clients can profit. I notice how you have no trouble trotting out Brenda Barrett to dazzle those captains of industry so that they can pay for your little charity. The difference between you and me, hmm. aside from the shoes, is that I retain my bank account and my humanity at the same time. Yeah, well, you can despise those criminals who hold the purse strings and run the world all you want, but now might be a good time to compromise because Sonny Corinthos is all over your precious Brenda, like white on rice, and he is as criminal as they come. I, I, I try to do what you said get through every day, wait for enough time to pass to get better, but it's not working, I'm not strong enough. Yes, you are. Michael, you, you've been through hell, but you're a survivor. All surviving means is that I'm alive. It doesn't mean I'm actually living. I mean, Allie is this nice, sweet, normal girl, and she has no idea who I am, and I can't tell her. Bad stuff happened to you. But it doesn't have to define you. You're strong. You can heal. Every day you're a step closer to getting yourself back. What you can't do is give up on yourself. Because I will never give up on you.